Tonight, a defense attorney has raised questions about how Port Arthur police gathered evidence connected to a 2017 murder. He says some of the evidence should never make it to court. Ryan Gertz is representing Deontay Burrell. Burrell is charged with murdering Javante Jack at the Avery Trace Apartments. Burrell's attorney claims the home search and portions of the interrogation were done illegally. That's right. 12 News reporter Paris Kane sat in on a hearing. She joins us live from the courthouse right now. Paris? Kevin and Erica, today's hearing boils down to two things. The search of Burrell's home and the recording of the interrogation once he was taken into custody. Attorney Ryan Gertz started with the search of his home. He says the Port Arthur officers were trespassing because they went to Burrell's back door. Burrell ran from the officers through the front. Gertz says the officers had everyone still inside the home come outside and they spent about 45 minutes searching and taking pictures without a warrant. Second, he says only a portion of Burrell's interrogation was recorded. He claims the part where Burrell confesses is not in the recording. Again, this is all connected to a 2017 murder at Port Arthur's Avery Trace Apartments. Gertz wants everything obtained from the search and the entire interview excluded from evidence. I feel like we presented uh, the case based on the evidence in the law. Uh, but ultimately the judge is going to make the decision and I, uh, you know, the reason we come to judges is I trust the judges to make the right decisions and uh, whatever she decides we will live with. Today, Judge West heard testimony from two Port Arthur officers involved in the investigation. She asked both sides to submit any case laws or bench briefs that apply to electronic recording they'd like her to review before she makes her decision. They have until next Friday to do that. She plans on making her ruling by August 9th. Live from the Jefferson County Courthouse, Paris Kane at 12 News.